Hello everyone and welcome back to another three questions in three minutes with our LGBTQ plus power players. Today I'm joined by Lee Solja, the founder and executive director of the NYC Center for Black Pride, which is responsible for putting on the five day event uh, Black Pride every single year. Uh, and this year is their 25th anniversary. It will be held uh, on August 17th to the 21st. Lee, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So 25 years is incredible. Congratulations. That is quite an accomplishment. Thank um, you. Yes, definitely. What has it meant for you to see the center and to see this event grow and change over 25 years during which so much else has changed? From the movement of Black Pride, which actually started before New York, which is about 31 years now, um, to where we are today, it is such a sense of joy, such a sense that there's much more awareness about our history. Um, there's much more awareness about um, the things that we have just contributed to culture. And that's important because we are a part of the American fabric as well. Like we have contributed to things that, that to everyday language, to everyday, uh, to dance, to music, to so much, so many things in popular culture. And so these things aren't taught in school. These things are not written down in history books. So it's important to highlight those things and to celebrate those things. I'm happy that you mentioned uh, different various kinds of performance and art uh, because you yourself are also a performance artist and an actor and a dancer. So what drew you to those art forms? The birth of me being a dancer first came out of nightlife and me as a youth when hip hop started coming out of the Bronx and just dancing in spaces and stuff. And again, people just, taking note and wanting to book me for things. You know, being a, a visual performance artist has opened the doors for me, like you said, to do television, to be in movies, to be in magazines, to celebrate my look, something that I never felt like, you know, I was a beautiful black boy. I didn't feel that when I was younger. So, you know, to have, to be in Vogue and to be in W Magazine and, Swerve magazine and all these different magazines wanting to take my picture, it changed my life. It changed my perspective and my outlook on things. It was amazing to have people say, Oh my God, thank you. You know, I appreciate when I see you, I see myself. When I see you, you inspire me to want to step out of the box and do something different. So those type of things are are the things I to me that motivated me to want to do more to want to share my art, to want to do more things artistically, express myself, and to um, maybe, in a, like I said, in my small way, break down some of these societal norms, just to say, you know, we're, we're here too, and we exist, and um, beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, comes in all colors, and so, um, that's where it all came from. And you also have been very politically active in your career as well. Um, you, I believe, have received awards from previous mayors, um, Bloomberg and de Blasio, and you, were, you served on an LGBT task force. So can you explain uh, why it's so important in this moment to remain politically engaged? Because discrimination still lives. I think that, again, uh, the ideals of, of someone determining that you that a person is less than because of gender because of sexuality because of race because of your color all of these things again they're constructs they're they're just issues of control and i feel that we have to break those things down if change is going to happen we've got to deal with and have conversation we've got to have those uncomfortable conversations you know we have to learn how to live together stop the violence we have to you know bring down the murder rates of black trans women of color we can't not stop not talk about it you know we have movements like black lives matter well how could black lives matter if no one is addressing you know um, non-binary people or women of trans experience that are getting murdered in crazy rates just for being who they are you know Thank you so much, Lee, for joining me and for this conversation. Um, we will definitely be watching NYC Black Pride this year. And uh, it is 25 years. Oh my God. 20, I know, incredible. That's that's <laughs> absolutely amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for taking some time to talk and, and understand that Black Pride is not a Black versus white thing. It's really about 
understanding that um, celebrating the cultural contributions of people of color to the world. That's Absolutely. what it's doing. And everyone, so something everyone can celebrate, right? That's something that everybody should celebrate. Absolutely. It's celebrating our place in the world, our space. Though.